Rare public display, the former presidential nominee jumped back into the spotlight, urging his Republican Party to fight back against Ted Cruz and the Tea Party allies. Speaking at a fundraiser in New Hampshire at Lake Winnipesaukee up there, he said, emotion is understandable, understandably at play in Washington among some of our fellow Republicans. They badly want Obamacare to go away, and stripping it of funds has appeal. But we need to exercise great care about any talk of shutting down government. What would come next when soldiers aren't paid, when seniors fear their Medicare and Social Security aren't coming, and when the FBI is off duty? I'm afraid that in the final analysis, Obamacare would get its funding, our party would suffer the next elections, and the people in the nation would not be happy. Well, Romney's criticism of Cruz didn't stop there. He went on to warn Republicans that extremists in the Republican Party need to be recognized for what they are, unelectable. Quote, this is Romney, we've got to stay smart, very smart. Staying smart means backing candidates that can win but there will only be one or two, perhaps, who actually would win or could win the election in November. Think it through. Stay smart. What's he talking about? John? Well, yes. I think you got to be careful. First of all, on, on Obamacare, taking advice from Romney is like taking advice from the captain of the Titanic, nautical advice from that captain, because Romney care was the precursor to Obamacare. The second thing where Romney is actually wrong, what the Republicans are talking about is not shutting down the government. That what they're talking about is defunding Obamacare while still having the funding for everything else in place. We can argue whether that's a good idea or not, but what Romney's throwing out there I think is wrong. But I will wait say minute, wait, right let's get the thing. Tech, let's get the truth out. They're saying if any continuing resolution to keep the government open includes any money for Obamacare to implement a law they will shut down the government. They will vote not to continue the government. That's, right. That's, That's what they're right. saying. What that's not what Cruz's office said today. What they put out is that they believe that there should be funding in place for all the important things. That's the same thing I just this said. this is a defunding of Obamacare. But that's and, a law and, of the land. So how, do you, how, do you, do. how do you pass a continuing resolution that doesn't fund lawfully created programs? You don't. You don't. And I you think they want to do that. You know, for a guy who's go as ahead, smart Steve. as Ted, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, John. Make your point. I mean, I don't. I think you're making the same no, point no, no, I'm no. making. I, I, if uh, isn't it I, true? It Let me be. ask you I, this: Isn't it true that Ted Cruz says if you put a nickel in there for Obamacare, I'm not voting for it? I think he is standing his ground and saying that we have to kill Obamacare once and for all. Look, even the Democrats are trying to kill Obamacare. Okay. They just no, delayed not. it by no, a year okay. because they're worried about okay. what it'll they're do for the 2014 it. let's elections. Get, let's get back Mitt to Romney. You have a vote on the House floor tomorrow. There'll be maybe four Democrats voting against it, the same votes, ones who voted against it when it first came up. Back to you, Steve. Mitt Romney may be the, the pink flamingo standing out in the Republican yard that embarrasses a lot of folks in the Republican Party, but he's speaking a fundamental truth. If you look at the track record of the, of the Tea Party um, people who have run for Congress, only one in three has been successful. And if you look at seven of the nominees that the Republicans put up in U.S. Senate races that lost races, they probably should have won if they'd had a candidate who was more in the mainstream. Mitt Romney's absolutely right. The Republicans would control the Senate today if the Tea Party wasn't, wasn't wreaking havoc with it. And, and I predict if they get Mitch McConnell to shut down the government to protect his right flank so he does, is not vulnerable in a primary, he'll, he'll, he'll lose the general election because centrist voters who decide elections in most states are going to vote against him. They don't reward people like that well, because that's not leadership well, and that's not what they're voting for. Well, Mitt, guys, Romney, take, Mitt Romney was our, our, our nominee. Mitt Romney was our nominee and look what the results were there. And he was I, pulled I, I, so I, far I to the right argument. by Rick Santorum that he couldn't win the general election. So far to the right on immigration and all the policies that frankly the American people have rejected time and again that he couldn't win the general election. If Mitt Romney, the Republican governor of Massachusetts, had been the nominee, he was terrifying Democrats, but that's not the guy that showed up. It was a caricature okay. of Mitt uh, Romney. Let me follow that, John. I want to pronounce your name correctly. John Brabender, by the way. John, it's nice to have you on the show. You're a good guy. And here's the question. Prediction. You're the expert on your side. What's more likely, the Republican nominee of 2016 to be somebody a lot like Ted Cruz or Rand Paul, one of them perhaps, or someone like them, or someone like Mitt Romney? Who's more likely to be the nominee? Well, just for the sake of winning the elections, I certainly hope it's not somebody just like Mitt Romney. I think it will be somebody coming for a more conservative wing of the party. It'll be somebody who does play well to social conservatives, but also somebody who can talk to blue-collar and hard-working families, which the Republican Party has not done a very good job doing, and Mitt Romney didn't do a very good job doing. Could be Santorum.
could that's be what, Santa. I'm happy to go with that too. <laughs> I think that's what you're thinking. Anyway, I, I, what do you think, uh, uh, Mr. Steve uh, McMahon, re Democrat? Do you think the Republicans might? This might. I'm going to predict at the end of the year. I think it's one of those times like 1964, like 1980, like 1972 on the Democrat side, or 2008 on the Democrat side. After years of being practical and manipulative, parties actually show their souls and say, "This is what we believe." I think the next time that we have a presidential election, which is 2016, the Republican Party will be the conservative party, I think very conservative party. I think they're going to stop playing games. They've been trying all these years to run Bob Dole and, and W when he went and spent all that money in the, in the government. And then, of course, they had a guy like McCain they didn't believe in. Uh, they didn't believe in these guys. I think they're going to run, and they certainly didn't believe in Mitt Romney. I think they're going to run a true believer next time. What do you think? Looking across uh, the listen. aisle. I think, I, first of all, I hope they run a tube reliever. I hope Ted Cruz is nominated because 330 electoral votes Cruz. that Obama got last time will be, will be the starting point if, if Ted Cruz is the nominee it won't be the, or it won't, Rand no, Paul Rand or Paul. any of these guys. Let me tell you why won't be Ted Cruz because occasionally, look at him here, you have to smile once in a while. Not all the time. <laughs> you have to occasionally crack a smile. He doesn't do that. Anyway, John Braybender, it's great to have you on. And Steve McMahon, thank you. I thank think you. we're getting to the point. Where